Hey, what's going on guys? Check it out. I'm here today to do a review on a, well, first of all, let me ask, how many of you use compression pedals? Well, that's what this review is going to be about. Roll the intro. <laughs> So first of all, this is a disclaimer. I'm in no way, shape, or form qualified to be like one of these tech guys or review guys that know every single thing about the product. If it sounds good to me, it sounds good to me. I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinion. I have no idea technically what each knob does, but I can show you exactly how it sounds. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right guys, I don't wanna bore you with too much talk. I'm gonna get right into it. So my friends at Jim Dunlop Guitar Products sent me over this MXR Dynacomp Bass Compressor pedal one thing i love about this pedal is the size you know i travel a lot so i'm really considerate about how much i'm taking on with me and the size is just like nothing it fits in your hand as you guys can see the size of the pedal is crazy so to be honest with you guys i'm really not a compressor guy i really don't use compressor pedals only because in the past i've used them and they just made my tone and my sound just kind of squish and it really like literally compressed everything and it was so tough and difficult to dial in those knobs um also at the same time it just affected my dynamics so much to where I just got frustrated. Uh, but with this, it made me want to use a compressor pedal. It was so much easier to use, especially because it has a dry signal where you can dial in. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. But anyway, I wasn't a compressor pedal guy, but I think now I am. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said, no more talking. We're gonna get right into this. I'll have the controls written on the screen for you guys so you can hear exactly what this sounds like. So I think I'm gonna stand up for this. You ever have a time when you feel like standing up and playing? 